All right, in this video, we're going to look at finding critical numbers. <clears throat> All right, so what is a critical number? It says, let f be defined at c, and if f prime of c equals 0, or if f prime is undefined at c, then c is a critical number of f. So basically all this means is we, take, we find the derivative of the function, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. And those are your critical numbers. And your critical numbers are also where the derivative is undefined. As long as that number, the number where the derivative is undefined, it has to be in the domain of f of the function. That's what this means. All right, so let's look at some examples. All right, so let's find the critical numbers. So the first thing we do is we'll take the derivative. So f prime of x is 12x cubed minus 12x squared. All right, so now we just take the derivative and set it equal to 0. So we have 12x cubed minus 12x squared equals 0. And to solve, I'll factor out a 12x squared. And so that's x minus 1 equals 0. And so 12x squared equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. So when I solve this, I get x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1. And the derivative, notice it's not undefined anywhere, so our only critical numbers are 0 and 1. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, so here, let's find the derivative. So that's f prime of x is equal to 2 minus, and then that's going to be 2x to the negative one-third. All right. So this can also be written as f prime of x equals 2 minus 2 over x to the one-third. All right, so we take this, we set it equal to 0, so that's 2 minus 2 over x to the 1 third equals 0, and we have to solve it. So we'll take this term, move it to the other side, and so that's going to give us 2 equals 2 over x to the 1 third. And you can look at this as being over 1. We can cross multiply. So that's 2x to the 1 third equals 2. And then I'll divide both sides by 2. x to the 1 third equals 1. And then to solve this, we have to raise each side to the third power. And so I get x equals 1. Okay, so we have x equal 1 is a critical number. And then, if you notice, when x is 0, the derivative is undefined. So, x equals 1 and x equals 0 are your critical numbers. And see, the derivative is undefined at 0, and 0 is in the domain of the function, so that makes it a critical number. And there's your answer. All right, let's take a look at one more. All right, so let's find the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to x. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do this first. Let's, let's rewrite it, x plus 32, and let's move the x squared in the numerator, so that changes the sign of the exponent. It'd be easier to take the derivative like this. And so f prime of x is equal to 1 minus, and then that's going to be 64x to the negative 
three. Okay. So that gives us f prime of x is equal to one over six. I mean, I'm sorry, one minus sixty-four over x cubed. Move this down to the denominator. Make the exponent positive. And then we set this equal to zero. So one minus sixty-four over x cubed equals zero. So this term will move to the other side. So that's one equals sixty-four over x cubed. And then cross multiply. That's x cubed equals sixty-four. And so now I take the cube root of both sides. So that gives me x equal 4. Alright, so x equal 4 is a critical number. Now notice the derivative is undefined at 0. But in this problem 0 is not a critical number because 0 is not in the domain of the function. See the function is also undefined at 0 so that means 0 is not a critical number. So our only critical number is x equal 4. Alright so hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright thanks.